Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. and Mrs. Geoff Godfrey. <laughs> Why'd you call, do the phone? Some people call, um, it's the one to pronounce Godfrey. They say Geoffrey. Those are my people in the village. I said, mm. out, out, out. I don't out, get it. Out, out. I don't know why they would say it that way. But anyway, Welcome back, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, um, you guys will remember that maybe two episodes ago, mm -hmm. I did my culture shock video from when I visited Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I told my husband he would have his chance because he tried to sneak in a few uh, American things that shocked <laughs> him. So, um, when he visited America, because he has not yet technically fully moved. Um. <laughs> I am, um, maybe we should have this conversation one day where we should really stay, whether Nigeria or America. Yeah, we should have it because I have. He, she wants to come to Nigeria now, but to yes. the idea. <laughs> before it was uh, a, before it was a no, hard no, 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 no. But <laughs> now, now I'm open to it um, for a few different reasons. And he's also promised me that we're going to be living in the DMV at some point also. So of course I got to give and take, you know, it's not all that I want. So yeah, he said it. So anyway, my husband on this episode, he has a whole list. He won't let me look at his book um, of things that shocked him on this long visit, this long trip <laughs> um, to the US, which we've been here for like nine months, 10 months. No, you know, the way I calculated, I think it's November, but you the way you look at uh, it, when you, from July, when you find the yeah. last time, okay, yeah. so it was actually September. That was October. I was. Oh, you went back. Congo. You know, we did Congo together, and I went to Kenya in September, end of September, so it was October. Oh, I guess I'm counting when you, the last time you visited Nigeria, which was September, right? right? The last time I left the US, back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, okay. Anyways, we're both calculating way, very differently. We are here, mm -hmm. and I can't. I'm, I mean, of course, I'm, I'll be back in Nigeria very, very soon, but. You know, I like these flowers. What are these flowers yeah, for? Yeah, so these <laughs> are my Mother's Day flowers. And they mm -hmm. were just sitting here on the counter. We were like, let's incorporate them into mm -hmm. the video. Looks um, beautiful. You guys may hear Brian and Rain, though, because they're sitting in their seats. Yeah, the flowers seat. calling. You guys, <laughs> you guys were able to see them the last time, but this time we have the flowers. Um, but yeah, so baby, how you? How, what's your first culture shock um, that you want to share with people? of the reason that you love America so much. <laughs> Yet these things shocked you. You still love living yeah, here I'm, or I'm, being here. Yeah, I'm going to go like really fast. Um, and I'm going to add context how you did mine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you guys ready? Okay, first, I'll be very honest. America humbles anybody and everybody. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. if you come from Nigeria, America <laughs> really would humble you it's if you're living here. Um, I think I'm going to start with what I did not start. Um, something that's, I, I mean, people that live in Nigeria, where we live in other parts of the world, especially from Africa, you, you want to, oh, America, America. Well, I've been coming to America for almost 20 years now, about 20 years now. I think it was 2006 that was my first time in America. Yeah, but, awesome. you know, I was always visiting with maybe coming for tours and stuff like that. But this time, um, when you earn in Nigeria and spend in Nigeria, or you earn in America and spend in America, it's two different things. Mm -hmm. Now, the first thing that shook the shock out of my shock <laughs> is bills. Bills, bills, bills. <laughs> bills. Listen. I, I, and I'm going to say it this way, the bills, America with bills is so hard, it's so powerful, it's so strong that in, in their interest to let us know that if you, if you, 
if you're coming to America, be prepared for bills. They made one of their presidents <laughs> come with the name Bill Clinton. Just to make us know that this country is built with bills. Build so with we bills. have Bill Clinton as the president at some point. So you remember that you'll be billeted Chai. with bills if you're not Every prepared. first of the month. The so, yeah. Sorry. No, were you going to say something else or was it my turn to act? Still context? bills, bills, bills. Listen, <laughs> we spend so much money on everything. I remember taking an Uber one time. I told you one about one Uber, but there's one other Uber that I took from um, Atlanta, I mean, from wherever I was to the airport, and it was hundred and something dollars for Uber. Jesus. I mean, if you want water bills, light bill, gas bill, um, TV, the TV that will have DSTV in Nigeria that you watch everything, you will now see that they'll separate everything. They'll say this one is Disney bills. They'll say this one is H H M something H U U Hulu. <laughs> Bills, then you have um, YouTube, YouTube TV. TV, bills, then you have Wi Fi, Wi Fi, bills, they have Pana, Parasol, Parasol, whatever, bills, they oh, have the, um, Peacock, Peacock, bills, Paramount. everybody have their different. What is going on? Okay. Then if you leave that one, then you now go to groceries, bills, they now house, Groceries. bills, they now um, car notes, bills, bill, 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 car bill, 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 bill. Car Listen, Bill, can you, okay, okay, baby, <laughs> yes. Bills in America, like you, they, they're due. Well, not everything is due on the first of the month. There's a whole, uh, Listen, whole system where it depending on when you start bill. your account, it's that's annoying. when the bills are due. It's bills. But bills, every, bills, bills. Every month. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> every month. Every month, your bills are due. Um, and it does feel like it's every other week. But it's actually once a no, month. Let me, and, let me say something. Okay. In Nigeria, mm -hmm. we pay house rent once in a year. Sometimes they make you pay once in two years. Yeah, it's every month. Mortgages do every month. Every month. I mean, if you you're pay. renting a place, if you're renting a place, like what you used to rent a two bedroom flat here is what you pay for a five bedroom flat for a year in nigeria you'll be seeing some places two bedroom flats is around three thousand plus well, baby, four thousand plus we know and then why that when is. you go to nigeria you see the same thing for one year that's what you pay for one month right i'm rika i'm rick or guinea okay sorry <laughs> well, we already touched on okay, that on okay, that video okay okay, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. so okay. the thing with bills is you you have to pay for exactly. yes. the level and in Nigeria, of comfort or in Nigeria, for whatever you want to call it. In Nigeria, for instance, if you are owing rent, you can just delay, drag, even fight to your um, landlord or whatever they call it. Here, everything happens by itself. Nepa, if for instance, light stops, Nepa might, you can even do some things. Nepa will not be able to come around and sometimes by the time they come, you can go and talk to them outside. They literally come face to face to cut your lights mm. in Nigeria. Here, the moment you don't pay, the thing goes off. The only thing you can get is some, maybe they'll give you some days to wait for you to pay. Water, the same thing. Everything, say, what is going on? Maybe you have to spend your whole video Okay, sorry, about sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, that's how painful the bills are. Yeah, Anyways. I don't have much context other than <laughs> yeah, you you're, have, you're paying for paying what, bills. you pay for what you get. And it's, it's just, just kind of how, I'm, and I'm not saying it's 100% right, because um, I do feel like even though all those things are itemized, you know, you're paying for all those bills individually, I do feel like some of them are a little expensive. But, I mean, what can expensive. I do about it? Anyways, that's bills. But, yeah. you know what? It's alright. We will survive them. Nigerians mm -hmm. will always go through everything. This flower, Sha, I'm feeling it. it no, just for real, like, I don't know, vibe. baby. We might have to get flowers <laughs> just like once a week for our episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's still bills. Okay, <laughs> the second thing that I want to talk 20 about. 20 minutes in, he's only on one point. <laughs> second one will be the cost of labor. It's actually interesting. So, first, when we moved into this house, we're gonna get people to come and fix everything. Because in my mind, in Nigeria, whether it's um, people that do like water, they call them, whatever they call them, Plumbers. plumbers, everything, you just get them, you pay them 10K, 7K, 5K, 12K, 15K, things are going sharp, 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 sharp. I don't even remember. In fact, I have pastor, my brother, Ugo, 
that helps me to sort out all of those things. Listen, first, in Nigeria, I didn't, I really, not like I didn't do, I worked so hard, but when it comes to all of those house things, I try not to get myself involved with it. I had somebody that does help, house help, help that does stuff for me in the house, cook, I had it, I had, um, I had a um, pastor that helped me out with the house and everything, but when we got to this place, by the time we called somebody to come and fix even brand basketball court stuff, the guy was calling one amount. By the time we discovered that, suddenly, even me myself, I started begging my wife, what is going on? So we started fixing things because labor is one of the most expensive stuff in America. Like really, really expensive. Like, like when you get things done, you pay for parts and labor. It's a separate. Experience. It's crazy. And then I, even with music, getting the band, getting BGVs, getting all of those things, it's just, it's not like Nigeria. Listen, it's different. It's totally different. So labor shook my shock too. Yeah, it shook my shock. And we had to start fixing things by ourselves in this house. I mean, they say it wasn't it wasn't anything crazy for anybody. It was very normal. My wife, like I remember when I was we were dating, she was sorting out some of the houses stuff. We would go to place oh, yeah. and buy tools to fix for herself and yeah. everything. Like so, I was getting my house ready to rent. Now I would like, go by the drywall. I mean, no, even paint. that time you had some stuff so wrong with. Um, the, that your uncle came to fix something for you. That's what I'm talking, what talking about. about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the plumbing. So I had I had a home warranty, which is something that you know we won't keep. Yeah. Listen. Because it saved me so much money on it's, plumbing. It's and electric. Guess work. what? People would tell you they will, they're not even available. They will tell you that eh, you can book for next week, next two weeks. <laughs> before they are available to come and do that thing that is expensive. I remember um, my friend telling me one time, they telling me that, you know, they wanted to fix some things in their house, electrical stuff, they were going to pay 1,000 plus to fix it. 1,000 plus to fix electrical issue. Why? Are you building a the house? Then, um, if you now talk about help, like, like um, nannies and all of those things, in America here, some places, one five, some 2,000, some, what is going on? I'll carry that baby, I'll carry three of them, one on my head, one on my head, and pay myself for it. <laughs> yes, yeah, I said it. That's number two. Yes, yeah, so labor is expensive. Labor is expensive. Because the cost of living is expensive. So in order for people to be able to afford to live here, um, and, and, and I'm about to say you have to pay them more, but there are still some professions um, where like if you're making minimum wage, the minimum wage still is not quite a livable wage. So, America, there's a lot going on. Yeah, listen, a lot going on. Lot and the one that shook my shock was... Shook your shock? Or was it another shook thing that shook. was a culture shock? Yeah, that's culture shock. That's the shock. Oh, shook your shock. shock. Oh, yeah. you, okay. I mean, Trademark. Like, oh, shook. That's my first time ever here. <laughs> shook my shock. I guess from that, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> so, that one is me... When we got in here, even from when we were staying in the Airbnb, for my first chore that I got was taking trash out, doing trash. So who does the trash at the house in Nigeria? I don't even know. <laughs> How many times would they tell you? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I guess the, the thing goes out and comes in. Must Listen. be nice. <laughs> the way I can track every trash bag <laughs> I've taken out. Since I moved out on my own, oh my which is over 10 years ago, Jesus. every trash bag, okay? By the time, especially when we just moved in and there was so much... Um, oh, so many boxes. Boxes, they call it carton in Nigeria. From our it was too many cartons. I remember my wife registry. even had a video of it, me carrying some of those things out, we pack them out, pack them out. So every day was like, what is good? And I saw myself carrying trash. I said, hey, Tim Godfrey, Jesus. Team God. Man of the house. Look at your hey, life. Look, look at, at you. Look man at your house. life in America. I mean, a friend of mine told me that um, whilst he was in Nigeria, he had two drivers. And um, that's throughout with his kids, one of them was maybe 11 or it's 11 or so, that he never took them to school. They had a driver that does everything and everything. But by the time he moved with the family to America, Number one, you can't even afford a driver. He's a millionaire, but he has to drive by himself. He has he had to start doing everything by himself. Guess what? He said that 
um, twisting it, I mean, on the flip side, he discovered that for the first time he started bonding with his mm, kids. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he goes to pick them up from school. Yeah. So the way they put the society together, it makes you, you have to do some things. Say, do it yourself. Yeah. That's what they call it. And in some regards, it does make you appreciate things a little more when you're the one putting in the work, you know, the yeah. sweat equity. It's like, all right, now, I work, worked for this. You know, not to say that other um, people in other countries don't work that same way, but hey, you pay for everything here. Yeah, everything. Well, that's shook. I mean, and other things, I don't want to go into that. The next thing that I'll talk about right now is calculating money. That's I think we we'll discussed that before. Favorite thing to do. <laughs> everything he calculates it yeah, in Naira. Yeah, calculates Naira. I'll mm -hmm. say, God, yeah. why? Mm -hmm. You be one small thing. They'll say seventy dollars, sixty dollars. This one, some four hundred. You're saying I'm spending it with something. And then, which is what I shook my shop one day before we even came. So one day we went to eat. I think it was after Fearless last year. No, was it Fearless? We did one event or something and then I took lots of people out. So we went to eat somewhere and all of those things. And we finished eating people. And then the bill was maybe just less than three hundred dollars. And then this says tip is twenty percent. But if the person does well, we we'll have to add. Yeah, and that the person did more. well. And I said, Jesus. So the person did well. Well, how much was it? We're going to give a tip close to, I think we spent close to about $70 or $80 on tip because of the amount we spent on the food. Exactly. I was calculating Naira. $80 on tip. How much is it in Naira? That is close to 60000 Naira. Tip! Jesus! That's somebody's salary in Nigeria for one month. Well... That whole, I calculated everything. Everywhere we're going to, I was calculating every money. I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to recover from it. I'm trying to stop it, but <laughs> the Nigeria in me is still saying, I will not let you go. I will not let you oh go. <clears throat> yes, that's another thing. Calculating cash. Cash, Naira dollar. Mm. Yeah, so the next one is food. Let me make this very clear. And I said it in the video with her when she was talking about let me say this. Pizza is not food. Burger is not food. Now it's not the healthiest of foods. Burger is not it's food. Kerosene is not food. Who? Kerosene. That thing they sell in in He loves messing stuff up. I think he does it on purpose. Croissant? Criston. 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 It's not food. All those things are not food. Those no, are snacks. Everything that you eat that you call food here is snacks. Listen, in Nigeria, those are things that you eat when you want to just, you know, when you're feeling peckish. You just want to put something in your mouth and warm your mouth. Like you take pizza and ice cream. Then after finishing it, 30 minutes later, you can now eat food. Well, the thing with America is, while I feel like a lot of foods or meals that are unique to America are snackish. I'll admit, um, a lot of foods that we eat here are kind of like a melting. It's like a melting pot from different countries. So, like, we eat a lot of Thai people eat a lot of do pasta. Does America even have food? That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of things. Like, I don't. I don't because think it's the healthiest. Mexican I won't go there. Yes, yeah, Chinese. There is. Um, so, but Italian. America is a melting pot. So it's it's. There are like soul food is something that's unique to you know black American culture, but it's also not something that I you know would cook regularly. Like, I cooked on Christmas and it was very good, but of course, it's like high in salt, even, butter, um, you know, sugar. Like, it's it's well, tasty, but it's not November that dates that's Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah, so that was good, yeah. So, we do have. You know, we have food, but a lot of it is kind of like not the healthiest thing. It's very labor intensive. And then the things that are like American foods, like <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is hot dogs. <laughs> and it's not, it's not very wow. healthy at all. That's, um, that's, that's not but what up, French fries? Are French fries American? Y'all look, y'all put in the- They call it French. What do they call it French I, fries? What is- I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so I, I do agree that we don't have the healthiest foods that are unique to America. And I'm sure there probably are some that are just not coming to mind right now. But pizza is a meal. 
It's not the healthiest meal, but mm-hmm. I would never eat pizza and then eat again after that. To me, that's too much food. Like I, mm-hmm. I love pizza, so I'm gonna eat at least mm-hmm. like you know two or three slices, and then I'm full. I don't want anything else to eat. Babe, babe is the pizza name. Baby is Niger food. Baby, yes. pizza. Alberoni. Let's just agree to disagree. What's the next thing on your pizza? Pizza bar, chiba. <laughs> Pizza go 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 America, oh, yeah, all the houses in America yeah. looks the same. So it was difficult for me to figure out. And in Nigeria, we don't normally use lots of GPS. I know all my Easy. way, everywhere Every I'm time. going to. If I'm going to the airport, if I'm going to the mainland, if I'm going to anywhere, anywhere I'm going to, I know my way. Bagada, college, I just know my way. If I find myself in Lekki, find myself in Oshodi. Uh, I know all my way, all of those places. So I just drive, I just go there. So now, u- using the GPS where the thing will not tell you that you have turning, the thing, you'll be seeing the thing, thing will show you are turning. I'm looking at the number. I'm looking at it's just so confusing. It was yeah, so it, a lot it can happening. Be a lot. It was difficult for it's me. It's like wait, a quarter yeah. of a mile. I'm taking exit seven twenty six. Or is it A or is it B? Or, and then yeah, there are three be. lines to show that okay, stay in this place, stay at the left, stay at the right. What is going on? And then the houses are they all look the same in my eyes, especially in the suburb area. And then the roads look the same. So everything looks the same, but man, I'm getting in gradually now. So yeah. I'm actually He's just, just doing it. But that driving stressed me like But it's safe. First the first biggest problem I had with driving is that the road is wide and there, there's no traffic so there are some that you have six lanes six lanes regularly is four five then there's six there's one that i went to i saw eight lanes how and then i'm driving in the middle of the road the cars are not squashing me it was it was weird it was almost like something is wrong i might listen if i know that if Rapture happens, I will be the first person to go. Where is everybody? Because the road is stopped. Because in Nigeria, the traffic will squash you. You are pa pa pa, and they call traffic here. When car is moving, or everything is moving, they will call it traffic. That's not traffic. In my in Nigeria, our traffic is when you stay on the road for five hours, six hours, eight hours, twelve hours. That is traffic. But here, that, uh, there's too much traffic. Oh, it's traffic time. It's um um rush, what, hour. rush hour. All of this. We don't even know whether there's anything rush hour in Nigeria. We just know that there is traffic. Traffic. The moment you don't leave your house four o'clock in the morning, you will meet traffic if you leave around six. If you don't start from four, everywhere is blocked. Todd Milan Bridge. Everything. Every and we just do it like that, child. So. I mean, so imagine that you're coming from that place where it's almost like I'm trying to do a withdrawal, like people that, that have taken that are taking drugs, they want to come out. So it was difficult for me to get used to that. The fact that the road is big, everybody's driving. Before somebody wants to, you know, overtake or go to the left lane, you put traffic, you put your traffic gator to move to the left. That's not normal. It's normal here, but it's not normal. So to traffic gate and turn, my son was telling me the other day that. Why are you trafficking early? We are, we are still where we are turning. I say, it's not as I've turned to the American driver. I just have trafficking early. In fact, one that shook my shock most was I saw tortoise. Is it tortoise? Tortoise. What do you pronounce? Tortoise. 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 A turtle. Yeah. On the road, one morning or one afternoon, I can't remember. And then I put my hazard lights and stopped. <laughs> hey, Tim Godfrey. So you are that. finished. When I stopped, everyone has stopped behind me. And I was waiting for the thing to cross. <laughs> I don't have any comment. It's okay. He shot. <laughs> I, I, I was shocked by myself. I could, that's that's unbelievable that I could stop. My wife, if she sees a dog on the road, oh my god, who is the person? Where is the owner of the dog? She'll not send a message to do a video. I send a message to some some app or some group where people can search for their dogs and I ask them, what? Because dogs, dogs, dogs have their own life in Nigeria. They live their own life. <laughs> Anyways, let me move. The next thing that stressed me seriously here is accent. 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 We don't have an accent. Like we we'll go to a restaurant, everybody will be ordering for oh, their yeah. food. <laughs> the woman that say, "Give me," they say, "Huh, huh." So that's why I'm going to get bound. <laughs> end up ordering everything. Yeah, she orders everything. He just gave up. Sometimes I'll be in the restaurant, I'll call her, she'll speak to them by herself. I say, talk to them. Rain, don't put your mouth in our conversation. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get into accent, but accents stress me a little bit. Um the last I'm gonna give you guys today is um rain. 
like weather rain or baby rain? rain. <laughs> when listen, when my wife was due and we're going to the hospital, I was the, I was driving. My wife was sitting by the side. In fact, we drove with with Brian. We dropped him off in school. Mm. It was weird that it was only me and my wife that was going to the hospital. It was one of the weirdest. I couldn't tell my wife then, because, but I was just trying to process it. Like, this is so, I felt so lonely. Yeah. It was, it was totally Fine for weird. me. It I wouldn't drove, have been as many people as you shared with me that like everybody, listen, every uncle, auntie, you know, I would have had at least like my mom and maybe my aunt, one or two cousins. Like it would have been more than just the two of us. Listen, I drove but, to the hospital yeah. with her, got to the hospital, was there with her alone. The baby came out, only two of us was there. My mom Oof. came the day, two days after. It was, yeah, two days after. The day we were going home, my mom yes. met us at the hospital and so, drove home with us. So, I mean, it was crazy yeah. that, in fact, the first person that visited, I had to call Moses. So please, can you go? Shout out to me. Just he said, "Oh, I want to go." I said, "Please, just go." Thank you so much. Moses was the first person that he said rain, and that hence we gave him the one of one of the Godfather. Yes, he's like. one of the Godfather. What, I don't even know what this Godfather. Is. <laughs> we, don't do, we don't do it in Nigeria. Brian, do you have a Godfather? Who is that? He doesn't even know who's Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> he said he has a Godfather. <laughs> Yanni, who's his Godfather? <laughs> huh? Who told you? Okay. There is no God waiting. Anyways, but my point is that we drove, I mean, if it was Nigeria, listen, I would have had, you know, when they say it's a village that trains a child, it really happens in Niger in Africa. We would have had family, friends, they would have been with me, they would have been at home waiting, they would have been in the hospital with us, mm -hmm. celebrating with us, we'll pray together, have fun together, it would have been so much, it would have just been different. But here in America, I understand that it's normal. Even if you have one, two people, it's weird. Mm -hmm. It's weird. And then the one that's, that shook my shock most is, now I'm carrying baby. In fact, I remember that we were doing shifts. When baby brain came, like, I'll do four hours, my wife will do four hours, then something like that. We're always sharing, like, oh, two, three hours and four hours, and then I'll wake up, I'll take it from her, she'll rest a bit. But I didn't, I can't, I can't. If it was Nigeria, I'll be begging to hold that baby. I'll be telling, can I carry her small, please? Can so I hold that baby? We might be having this, I was going to say we'll have the second one in the DMV, but, you know, I'm hoping to have the second baby in that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We've had that talk. We've already mind. gotten used to it, so I've yeah, already done yeah. things that we already have. It's okay, it's too late. Anyways, so that, that is still something I'm getting used to because, of course, I won't do nanny. I, and But the beautiful part of it is that... Wait, you say you won't I, do nanny? No, now. Oh. oh. Maybe. <laughs> I want, see the eye. You say you won't do nanny? Because we've already done I will say Jesus. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Anyways, so, and of course, my mom couldn't come now, which I'm 100% she's gonna come um, for the second baby. But um, but the beautiful part of it again is that just bonding with Rain, carrying her, seeing her smile back, just, just, it's just the best thing ever. And we've been able to spend so much time with her as parents and, and, and share that whole, you know, time together is so beautiful so i as much as it was weird i really am so grateful to god that i have this time to spend with my baby and that's actually the major reason one of the major reason why i decided to stay back to steal my wife through the pregnancy and then spend at least six months plus or even one year with rain before i even start um anything so um it's been such that i wanted to wrap up with that i mean it's been, it's been the best thing ever, but still weird. Still was massive so culture shock. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. Well, yours was very intense. <laughs> <laughs> what? Intense. Yeah. But you, yeah. you enjoy it, you know, being <laughs> here. You're getting no, used to it. No, I mean, I'm it. getting used to it. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I know that I, I cooled. I know that is something that I would be able to adjust to very well because I've traveled, I've experienced some of this culture, I've, I've 
I've been out with friends one time and they told me, when we finished eating, they told me everybody pay, pay your money and it was weird for me. So I've actually experienced some of those culture shock where mm -hmm. in America here or in the Western world, when you go out to eat with people, everybody pays. They just bring out the bill level, start calculating their own and pay. So it's not a thing in Nigeria. Nigeria, we, we fight to pay. One person will fight to pay. One person will secretly, before anything happens, go and pay. And you come back, everybody say, let me pay, let me pay. They say, oh, he has paid. That's how we do it in Nigeria. And, and so I've experienced some of those things and I know it's something I'm happy. I'm one person that loves to just try out something. So for me, this whole thing has been a learning process for me and it's been beautiful. And thank my wife, seriously, for the support. The tremendous support she has been giving me every time. Now, let me say this. For those of you that moved to America 10, 15, 20 years or London or Europe, anywhere like me, let me know what was the shocking shock that shocked you most when you got here. Put it in the comment section. Let's know what your own culture shock was um, when you moved to the Western world. I mean, um, but do you uh, have any encouraging words for those who are interested in moving to the U.S. from Nigeria or I mean, any other? Um, I've, I've said all the everything I've said right now is encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> it's an encouragement. It's, I don't know if I would um, yeah. want to move. <laughs> yeah, I so, but I mean, people keep saying that the, the, the truth of the, the truth is, um, you need to be prepared for it. You need to be ready for it. It's the, the, the changes. People think that ah, oh, no worry, we will survive. When we get there, no problem. We will see them anyhow, anyhow. But it's not that anyhow, anyhow. Yeah. Um, you need some sort of support. If you don't have it, it's gonna be crazy. Like it, it will be difficult. I mean, I know that as Nigerians we always fight through, we always hustle through and everything, but I mean, it's a beautiful place. Um, I, I miss Nigeria, to be honest. I miss a lot with Nigeria. I mean, I can't wait to be back. Um, um, and interestingly, lots of bookings that I have right now that has not allowed me even to come in, but um, I would, I can't wait to be back. I'm fearless, different things that are happening. I'm looking forward to, um, um, but I mean, of course, we've been doing music, a stream is working, we're working here, everything is still going well. But listen, if you want to move, if God tells, if God tells you, please go ahead, God would, God would help you um, through it. But if you're just hustling to say it's not easy, trust me, especially for the bills part, it will be difficult if you don't have two, three jobs, you have to do a lot to survive. For people that do music, I tell them, if you're an instrumentalist, it will be difficult for you to just survive here just playing instruments because, I mean, honestly, you might have to do one or two other things to be able to survive because if you're paid and then only the money they're being paid, for maybe playing a church is what sorts out your rent alone. How do you pay for the lights and everything? How do you even eat? How do you... Um, pay for car notes and call it car notes right mm -hmm. car notes and all of those things insurance different it's just so much i don't even know any of these things my wife just i just know that when it's time we just pay he i don't i just send money that's yeah. it my, i don't know any of those i don't even know how it's done so you need that support system yeah. so i think it's a beautiful place uh, and the thing is um america has its own thing that makes it makes it beautiful and own challenges and nigeria i mean some people have I don't know where I would choose if you ask me to choose right now, whether mm. Nigeria or America, but I mean, they are both beautiful. I know people that want to move back to Nigeria, I know people that want to move to America mm. or move to London. Whichever one you decide, it's up to you. Yeah. That is my own personal culture shock <laughs> episode. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. So, oh, wait, we didn't do housekeeping in the beginning. That's a good time to do it. All right, so you want to do it? No, you. All right, so mm. you already know. But we have to say it though, because yeah. that's the YouTube thing to do. Mm -hmm. So make sure you like this video, you leave us a comment. Um, what was it you said, baby? If people were, like moved to the US or yeah, lived in I mean, like 10, 15 years ago, leave a comment. I mean, what if, your you, if you just left even was. last year or this year, just let us know what your own culture shock was, and let's let's just have fun and yeah. go through it. I'm, I'm looking forward to reading what you. But like, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Um, turn on your post notifications so you can know when we share a new video and share, share, share. Join sharing, share, sharing share, share. is caring. Share. Um, um, we're looking, the next episode that is coming will be quite interesting. Guess what? My wife cooked. <laughs> so, 
I told y'all I was gonna try chicken stew. I finally did it. I'm still tweaking. You know, it was my first try. You guys will see. No, let's not give them everything. Let's okay. Give them everything. We shall. But my husband was my sous chef. He was. He was telling me. <laughs> what to do and what not to do. Um, so yeah, y'all stay tuned for that. We'll be um, posting that next week. Yeah. Love you guys and yes. thank you for all of your comments. Thank we love you. you. Baby. Mm. Peace. So thank you guys for joining us for another video. We're taking you guys small, small, you know, through our That's meeting and our relationship. Small, small, small is the Nigerian accent. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking you guys through our relationship. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, mm -hmm. comment, mm -hmm. subscribe, share. turn on your post notifications and, and share. share. Um, because other people can be blessed by this content as well. That's my wife. <laughs>